another exciting episode of the Young Grown Ups Video Transmission. I'm your host, Mark, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Marvel Select Disney Store exclusive Winter Soldier. Now, I don't really know why this figure is a Disney Store exclusive. I also think that it's a Disney Store Online exclusive, and I think it's a Marvel Store Online exclusive. So I know that there are three different ways you can get this figure, but I'm not really sure why this particular figure is an exclusive at all. It's the Winter Soldier. It's a figure, not from the film, but from the comic books, but it is so in demand and popular right now, of course, because of Captain America 2, the Winter Soldier. Why this particular figure is an exclusive, it just boggles my mind. I don't know, but we don't have a Disney store here in Tallahassee, but we were up in Atlanta over the weekend. Uh, last weekend, we were on vacation, and, uh, and so... We did happen to go into a mall with a Disney store. They did have this figure. They also had the other two Disney store, current Disney store exclusive Marvel Select figures, which is Superior, Superior Spider-Man. Why do I have a problem saying Superior? I don't know. Uh, Superior Spider-Man and uh, an Incredible Hulk figure. And I really had a hard time because I really wanted both of those other figures. But I decided to pick this guy up. I don't have a huge Marvel Select collection. As a matter of fact, I don't have any of my Marvel Select figures actually on display. Well, actually, that's not true. I have the uh, Spider-Man and the Lizard from the Amazing Spider-Man movie from um, uh, a year or so ago or more. Um, that I have those figures out right now. I do. Um, so this, I guess, will go on the shelf with them. So I did want to show this guy off. He's uh, very much, he's in his um, comic incarnation. You see he comes with a very nice base in the background. Huge sniper rifle right here, little pistol right here. Turn around on the side. You can see Winter Soldier here. I believe this is art from the um, Ed Brubaker um, series, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then here on the back, you can see uh, a write-up and a picture of the figure. He comes with a shattered window and a box that he can use to prop up on and uh, and fire from out the window. Um, this guy ran me $24.95, um, so regular price of a Marvel Select figure, and it looks really, really cool. I actually really do wish I had picked up a um, Captain America figure. I think um, we are in May. Sometime in May, the Marvel.com, the Marvel Store Online, is actually going to have an exclusive Captain America that I believe comes with an unmasked Captain America head um, from Captain America 2 Winter Soldier. I'll probably pick that figure up and it'll make a nice um, companion piece to this. So without further ado, let's get this big old package uh, cracked open and take a closer look at the Winter Soldier. Alrighty, so here we have Winter Soldier opened up out of the package and uh, he's kind of all put together. One of the things I didn't mention that he came with um, because I didn't see it in the package is he does come with like a I think this may be like an H&K MP5 or something like that. Um, but it, it's kind of strapped across his chest and it's packaged like that. So it looks like um, a, a rather rubber strap and then a little actual metal hook. We'll look at this in a minute. But um, I didn't actually see that back there. So I got to say it's a pretty impressive base. We'll take it apart and we'll look at it here in a minute. But I did kind of want to show the guy in, in, in sort of a museum pose. Um, here's his little... Um, this pistol over here, I don't have it in the holster um, just quite yet, but I did kind of want to show you how he poses up. It's really, really nice. So why don't we uh, take the figure off, move the gun out of the way, and uh, and take a look at this base. So um, you he, the sort of the box here is um, separate. Um, I will go ahead and zoom in on it. So the box is separate. You can kind of sit it wherever you want. It's got a um, Russian label here on the top. It says fragile electronic equipment. This is fragile. Uh, I'm not sure this would have passed U.S. Customs. You know, it comes in with the old Soviet, uh, the the logo right here, and then it says fragile electronic equipment. Fragile this and uh, this side up. Handle with care. Not sure this would have passed customs. That looks uh, suspicious from the get. Um, you also see over here maybe a little bit of vodka. Don't know. Um, we've got a little a little jug of something and a little glass half full of something. This is all made onto the uh, the base itself. You've got two foot pegs. This doesn't plug in anywhere. You can see it's flat on the bottom. It just kind of sits wherever you want. Looks like you've got a uh, some sort of shell or something. Either a I don't know if that's a silencer. I can't really tell what that is. Um, maybe it's an Maybe it's some cleaning solution because it was like an old rag right there. Um, but uh, you can see here, um, there are bullet holes uh, and they're all uh, inside the, the wall. I, maybe they should be on the outside of this wall. Maybe they should be uh, out here. I don't know. Maybe something went down in this room. 
Uh, maybe that's how the uh, the glass got broken out, but I do want to show that off. I really like this piece um, as a diorama. I like uh, the the broken window, uh, and this is all kind of sharp, but it's uh, it's just plastic. Um, but it looks really really nice. Uh, this is a very nice display piece. It's uh, it's definitely not your your run of the mill um, stand, and uh, I I definitely say Marvel Select. Uh, Diamond Select, however you want to say, they uh, they went out of their way creating this uh, this base. So taking a look now um, at the figure itself, um, I want to move this base out of the way. The base, by the way, does come in two parts. You just put the the floor to the wall piece and connect those two pieces together. Um, so kind of like starting out, um, uh, you know the, the the shoulders and the um, you've got a sort of going over the articulation just a little bit. You've got a ball joint at the shoulder, a cut at the top of the bicep, and just a single joint at the uh, the elbow. You have that on both arms, both his real arm and his mechanical arm. Um, and that being said, I, I don't think that really allows for him to um, really get this gun in a, um, in a sniper position. So um, you're not really gonna get this figure, uh, you know, looking down the, the scope as it were um, it's just not, not going to happen with the articulation that they went with. Um, but, uh, I do want to see if I can zoom in here a little bit, uh, on this head. And I know that I typically have problems zooming in. It wants to zoom in on the, the background, but I will tell you, I, I love this head sculpt. I love this super strong chin that he's got there. Uh, he very much look, looks like a superhero and with that domino mask, I really see, Bucky. I don't see the Winter Soldier. I really see more of Bucky in there with that square jaw. I really see him wanting to be Captain America. I see that that guy in this head sculpt. So I, I think they did a fantastic um, job. Um, nice. Um, there's some color wash on the hair. Um, so it doesn't look, it's not just a single color. It's got some depth to it. Um, like I said, the, um, the submachine gun he has is on this. Let's tilt it down just a little. Um, is actually on a separate piece that does come off if you wanted it to, um, but you actually can just sling this up uh, and let him grab a hold of um, the machine gun. Uh, you can see he's got a nice bandolier, all that sculpted on. The um, I'm going to turn this around so we can get to it a little bit. Um, the the sound like sounds like one of my sons has woken up from his nap. Um, you can actually see how the belt is a separate piece, but you cannot remove it. It's not. Re it doesn't seem to be removable. Uh, anywhere um, you do have some nice moving that up out of the way nice range of motion on the hips um, You can get some nice ranges uh, Out of there, and then you can see um, His holster right here. So let's go ahead and get that pistol in And uh, I doubt I'll be able to uh, Get that to close but it looks like um, you have get it's giving you two options one probably with the pistol in probably closes here And then with the pistol out it probably closes down there what is that? Maybe that's just supposed to hang loose. Um, but it looks pretty nice. You've also, whoa, yep, yeah, definitely one of my boys is awake from their nap. Got the double jointed knees, got nice um, ankle articulation. I like the sculpting on the, on the knee pads and on the boots. You can see it's definitely, you got the laces in there. It's looking pretty good. Nice articulation here. Nice ankle rocker and up and down motion. So let's see what's going on with these hips because it feels like I'm having a hard time. Like they're almost, look. It doesn't want to stay, it wants to kick right back into place. I wonder what's doing that. It must be, I don't know what's doing that. That's very weird. But they move outward, no problem. But moving them up, they just kind of feel like they want to snap back into place. Um, like they're on a rubber band or something, like it's an old G.I. Joe figure. It's really bizarre. It's a weird feeling. I'm trying to move that figure around. It doesn't seem like this is a problem with mine. It's probably systematic. Um, taking the uh, the submachine gun, you can very easily get that into his hand and even get his uh, finger into the, uh, the, uh, the, the trigger guard. No problem. So, you know, moving that around you can really get this guy into some decent poses. Um, he doesn't look bad at all. And uh, that's pretty impressive. 
So um, I do want to show off this metallic arm. It looks really cool. Nice paint job on that shoulder as well. Looks really nice. There's a very nice silver and gunmetal wash all across this arm. So it looks adequately mechanical and very cable-esque. It just looks really, really nice. I just want to take a moment to uh, zoom in here and show off the, um, the sniper rifle. It's got lots of paint apps on here. You've got uh, green and gray and black. You also see right here above my thumb there's a little red. I don't know what that is, but very nice. Major sculpt uh, scope on this sculpt. Got a nice little red dot right here. And uh, you can see the, the magazine and some green paint apps there all the way down to the, the barrel. Looks really, really cool. I love the amount of detail and how just large and stocky this big bastard of a gun is. Uh, and it looks really nice. And this, of course, looks great too. Um, him holding the, uh, the submachine gun. Uh, I think you could probably get it to extend out. You may want to take that um, off of his head or take it off from around his shoulder um, before doing so. And then let's check out pistol which looks very nice finger goes into the uh, the trigger guard very fine which is fine no problem and uh, again looks great this is a, a really good Marvel select release I'm not quite sure like I said at the very beginning why this is indeed uh, an exclusive figure um, maybe this is an exclusive paint job and maybe the figure has been made available uh, in other colors somewhere else that's something worth looking into I should look that up to see if that's the deal um, because I figure this nice I can't imagine um, w would find its way into being an exclusive um, without being able to be made to the masses made available to the masses <clears throat> all in all this is a fantastic set I don't buy a lot of Marvel select figures um, I only have actually I only have a few um, I have uh, the brown suit Wolverine. I have um, my old favorite, like old school, like Jim Lee designed suit for Wolf, uh, for Sabretooth. I have that Sabretooth figure. I have Colossus. Uh, he's one of my favorites. Uh, and like I said, I did buy the Diamond Select Spider-Man and Lizard from the last movie. I don't have many, but uh, this was a figure that stood out to me. I love the film. I love the figure. I love the character in the movie and definitely want to pick up this version of the figure. So while he may not have a... a, a a, a strong lineup of figures like him on the shelf next to him. Uh, he is definitely a, a standout figure and one that I'm glad to add to my collection. So um, that's going to about do it for this review. Hope you liked it. So if you did, please uh, like, comment, or subscribe. Be sure to check out all of our brand new toy reviews right here on YouTube.com slash And until next time, peace.